everybody this is Rachel thanks for clicking on my video and I just came in today with a little bit of celebrity tea the first one up is Jennifer Williams and Tim Norton y'all are not going to believe this did you hear that Jennifer Williams of Basketball Wives is dating Tim Norton from Sweetie Pies y'all when I first read this I was like are you serious but she confirmed that they have been dating for about five months now I just can't believe it you know we did a video a little while ago about Tim Norton and the um, controversy with Sweetie Pies and Miss Robbie um, suing Tim for taking money from her account but this new news has me just blown over because of all the comments that you guys made about basically the way Tim looks. Now, I'm wondering why or what Jennifer Williams sees in him because I'm sorry, but I do not think Tim is a very attractive man. And um, also, it seems like to me that Jennifer Williams dates guys with a lot of money. So I'm, so I'm wondering, does Tim, you know, qualify for her level of, I guess, uh, money, you know? I, you know, I'm not trying to throw shade, but it seems like Jennifer Williams is one of those women that um, just basically dates guys with money. So I guess Tim must be a baller, y'all. I don't know. And then when I think about it, I wonder, you know, what is his relationship now with Janae? And what about little Timmy? You know, I kind of feel sorry for Janae because Janae actually loved Tim. And you could tell that she did. She put up with a lot of stuff that Tim threw her way. Basically, Tim was into, you know, running the business. And when I watched the show, it seemed like after a while he lost interest in her and basically, you know, kind of kicked her to the curb. Now, I know that he loves his son, um, but his and Janae's relationship was really troubled. Now, <clears throat> I watched a few seasons of Sweetie Pies because after a while I couldn't watch it anymore. And basically the main reason why I couldn't watch it, I didn't like the way that Tim treated Miss Robbie and eventually I lost interest in the show. But this new news about Tim dating Jennifer Williams, y'all, I don't know. He, we talked about y'all, his body shape, his hair, y'all was tripping in the comments. <laughs> I read a lot of the comments and when I tell you the comments were, were funny and off the chain, y'all went through describing this man from his head to his toes about, you know, how he looked. I don't know. I guess, um, you know, Tim is a baller and, um, these two are a couple i just i can't see it y'all because i again don't find anything on him attractive and, and it's also more so his attitude and his personality now that helps to make a man attractive to me when he has a good personality and all of that and tim just seems um I don't know y'all something about his personality I just really don't like him and maybe maybe it's more so the way that he treats his mother it turned me off when I first started watching the show I was all for you know Tim and his mom being in business but as the seasons went on and I watched him I was like you know what I can't get with him and then eventually you know I totally disliked him and then all the stuff with Janae and little Timmy and all of that you know it kind of turned me off I know Janae is probably somewhere really hurt and um you know I wonder what Miss Robbie thinks about this um I know she loves Tim and she's 
trying to be supportive in everything that he does. But I also know that she seemed to care, really care for Janae. And I know that Miss Robbie has probably sat down with Janae and talked to her about Tim's new relationship. Because y'all know how it is when you have like a, a, a guy family member and he has a baby mama and you actually like her and then eventually the relationship with that baby mama breaks up and he brings another girl around you know how you feel funny because you actually like the baby mama and it's hard to warm up to the new girl I'm wondering if that's how Miss Robbie feels you know this story is just it's it's just I don't know. I feel sorry for Janae. So um, I would like to know what you guys think about Jennifer Williams dating Tim Norton of Miss Rob of uh, Sweetie Pies. Let me know down in the comments, y'all. The next one up, y'all, is Kanye West. Now I'm pretty sure y'all have heard about this recent concert he did, where he talked about not voting in this last presidential election. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, he said that if he had voted, he would have voted for Donald Trump. Now, when he said that, his fans booed him and also Twitter kind of went crazy about, you know, what he said. Now, we all know that Kanye West is a little off his rocker. You know, he has said controversial stuff before, but I think the reason why people are, you know, tripping on what he said is, you know, it, it's the point that is he aware of the damage that Donald Trump can do to the average person? Now, the reason why I say average person is because, first of all, Kanye West is living in a bubble of, of of being wealthy and forgetting what it's like to be the average person. When you watch their lives, they, they really don't have the problems that the average person does. And they forget what it's like to be out here and have, you know, um, discrimination and racist people, you know, saying and doing things to the average person. Also, too, it seems like Kanye West is like changing who he is. And the reason why I say that is think about him, you know, a few years ago when um, Hurricane Katrina happened and he got on that benefit that they have for Hurricane Katrina and said that President Bush did not care for black people. Now, we all cheered him when he said that because you know, he was standing there and then just blurted it out. And we were like, go ahead, Kanye, because that's what we were thinking, because the president left those people down there in Katrina to just, you know, no water, no food, no nothing. And they were just down there for days with no help from the federal government. So we all cheered him. But over the years, Kanye West has even went beyond being crazy and I, I tell everyone that I think that after his mother died you know there wasn't anyone to check him that really really cared about him and it, it had this boy going completely to the left after his mother died he just went all the way crazy and then now he's married to Kim Kardashian and you know that life of privilege that they lead and he's to me out of touch with reality and also I don't really respect him for not voting because you know you go into that voting booth you're only in there five minutes and you're out but you have you know made your contribution to society so this is why when those people were at his concert you know they they booed him they felt that you know for someone to not vote in a an election that was as important as this past election that's one thing and then the people there you know wasn't feeling him voting saying that he would have voted for donald trump we all know that donald trump is going to be trouble i mean we're all watching the news and kanye I mean, his brain is completely pickled. You know, you, first of all, why would you talk about something like that 
at your concert. They're paying to hear you do your thing on stage, not for, you know, your opinion on the election and who you would have voted for. Those people were not paying for that. So shut the fuck up, Kanye, about your opinion, because we really don't care. You're not going to be affected by, you know, what Trump is going to do, because first of all, you are wealthy. You're not, again, the average person. So I'm with Twitter. I don't, um, I'm not down for what he said. And I think he's a fucking looney tune that is, um, you know, again, living in a bubble. I'd like to know what you guys think about what he said. And um, do you think that he should stick to rapping on stage and stay out of the political uh, fray because first of all he didn't vote and because he didn't vote he does not you know to me have any right to stand up and lecture people on how they should and should not feel and I just want to know what y'all think about it okay y'all this last story is about genuine child I know y'all heard he got some peeing pictures out there Lord, let me just say, I took a look at the picture. And um, he's holding, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. But y'all know um, the social media crowd of women kind of went crazy over his picture. Now, he says he trusted the wrong person, and that's how the picture got out. But y'all, when I was looking at it, I was <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay, oh, well, alrighty then, Genuine. Now, I'm a little older. I'm really not into his music, but I appreciate, you know, the picture as a woman. I'm going to say, you know, he he's he's endowed, and but, you know, it is not something that's going to have you like, oh, my God, you know, this, this, my, you know, it's not going to have you all crazy and, you know, just, it's just the fact that, he is a celebrity and it's not something that you expected, but it's no different than the average black man. You know, he's not little. He he does have something to work with. And I guess this more added to his appeal as an artist, you know, women getting a chance to see again what he's working with. I want to know if you've seen the picture, if you heard about that the picture is out there of his peen, and what do you think of it? Child, these celebrities ain't going to worry me with with these um, dick pics. The shit was funny. I was looking at it, I said, you know what, he need to be not ashamed of himself, but he need to be careful with who he um, associates with or, you know, is with and, you know, make sure that they're not taking pictures that could embarrass him. Now, he doesn't have a reason to be embarrassed, but sometimes when pictures like this come out, it can wreck their careers, you know. But in this case, I think it, it like I said, it added to the appeal of him. A lot of women, you know, think he's very good looking and now they get a peek at, peek at you know, what he's working with. And with that, y'all, I'm going to end this. I figured end it on a good note after talking about everything else that I talked about in this video. We're ending it on Genuine's Ping Pictures. So with that, y'all, have a good night and thanks for watching the video. Have a good weekend too. Bye-bye now.